and a beacon of light and someone who embodied kindness, strength and compassion for others. That's how friends are describing their loved one and remembering 30 year old Barbara Friedis. She was a chief resident doctor at CHOP who was struck and killed while riding her bike. The crash happened around 7 o'clock last night at 18th and Spruce in Rittenhouse Square. A memorial continues to grow where Friedis was hit. Police say a car swerved into the bike lane and hit Friedis and other cars as well. No word yet if the driver will face any charges. A woman whose daughter worked with Friedis shared this. I think that she was very accomplished. She did a lot, helped a lot of people, and um, she had a lot more to give. And CHOP sent us a statement reading in part. This morning, the CHOP community is in mourning following her tragic loss and keeping her family, friends, and loved ones in our hearts. We are thinking about your safety. We wanted to know more about bikes in the city. That's right. Over the past four and a half years or so, there have been 27 people killed while cycling. Investigative reporter Liz Crawford is examining exactly why some safety advocates say Spruce Street in particular is so dangerous for cyclists, Liz. Well, first of all, Spruce has one of the most popular bike lanes in Philly, and I want to give you a lay of the land if you're not familiar. So it is a one way street. OK, so this is looking west. You have cars parked on the right. Then you have one lane of traffic. Then you have this smaller buffer lane, and then you have the bike lane on the left. Advocates say it's that three foot little buffer, and they say it's not enough to protect people on bikes. News that a cyclist had been killed on Spruce Street was a gut punch to Laura Fredericks. Oh no, not again. How can this happen? Fredericks 24 year old daughter Emily was riding her bike to work when she was hit by a trash truck and killed. It's been seven years since Emily Fredericks was killed and now seven blocks away on the same street, another cyclist death. It's devastating. Obviously, we've come nowhere. In the aftermath of Emily's death, the city moved the bike lane on Spruce Street from the right side of the road to the left side in an effort to make cyclists more visible to drivers. It wasn't enough, but it helps. Um, you know, it slows down the drivers making the left hand turn. There is this level of visibility because you're right next to the bicyclist. Some advocates say the painted buffer area and flexible barriers installed at some intersections aren't enough. Paint is not protection. River to river, not just on the inner, not just on the corners, and it needs to be concrete. If there was a concrete barrier between the driver and Barbara yesterday, Barbara would be alive today. The white barriers easily bend and cars can run right over them. Cyclists say another problem, cars blocking the bike lane. We have to get the cars out of those lanes, here. period. Now, we did reach out to the city about adding concrete barriers mm -hmm. to Spruce Street. A spokesperson said they have no comment at this time. Yeah, still wow. so many problems, even though they've so established those lanes, you know.